All right, we're back, everybody. Sorry. I hope you all didn't miss me too much. Uh, anyway, let's... Let's review what current powers Ellie Villain does for me. She watches over me, especially when called upon. You can provide lesser healing for yourself and others. You can purify yourself. You can pray to destroy weapons on the ground. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. I can destroy weapons. That I and that pleases my god as well, so I need to remember that shit because it'll be beneficial to me in the future. But go destroy the Cheeto. Oh, oh yeah. Don't should... you don't actually need to destroy the Cheeto. I should probably go look for it and destroy it. I must destroy all Cheetos. Oh, a bat comes into view. Hey, buddy. Guess what? Are you ready to? Uh, one-liner about God and Jesus. <laughs> I'm not smart enough to come up with something like that. At least quickly, that is. I feel like it would take a certain amount of experience to uh, come up with something funny on the spot. Ah, true. Wait, okay, so a whip. Okay, so if we pray to our God, we destroy that, and then she becomes pleased with us. And the more we please our God, the more benefits we'll get from them. Right now, I'm my piety is at two asterisks, as you can see up here. Formicid of Ellie Villain. Um, the maximum you can have is six, and when you're at six, very good things happen. I think sometimes gods will even give you items and be like, yeah, here's a gift from God. <laughs> Do you mean piety? Hmm? Do you mean piety? Yeah. Yeah, it's pie. The more pious you are, the better. All right, come on, Snake. We can we can talk this out. Okay, yeah, he he agreed. He is a reasonable snake. Uh, Clearly, but I am a very hungry person. Maybe you should go reason with that snake for a a foot long. <laughs> I'd ask him for like a spicy chicken with grilled chicken. You know, they say lettuce. snake kind of tastes like chicken. Wow. According to this game, everything you eat tastes like shit, except for actual food. That may not be far from the truth, however. Well, like, there's a lot of countries in the world that eat some really weird stuff, and it makes me wonder, like, do they think it's delicious? Or do they might genuinely be. hate it? Could be conditioning, you know? Cognitive conditioning for the sake of survival. It is a devastating world we live in, ladies and gentlemen. This is why you should donate to kids in Africa. <laughs> oh man, that sounded a bit offensive. I don't even know if it was. It just sounds offensive because it's one of those things. Yeah. It's just one of the yeah. It's one of those things that's like very delicate subject matter. <laughs> wow, that just goes to show you how how low the bar is set when when I'm around. <laughs> Uh, you're not going to destroy that arrow, sir? Oh, shit. Yeah, you're right. I should also destroy these rocks, because those are also weapons of destruction. <laughs> yeah, just destroy every rock, because they could potentially become a weapon of destruction. I wonder if, like, this god would be pleased with you if you destroyed pens, because those can be used as weapons as well. Or would you be like, the, no. I get the feeling your potion bottles, I mean, could probably also be used as a weapon. I'm not liking the way this scroll is looking at me the wrong way. So out of I think curiosity, it might be dangerous. There's that hollow section uh, to the northeast. What would happen if you dug in there? Would there be a chance of stuff? Uh, probably not. Let's see. You should probably do it. Dig. Uh, oh, wow. A Watch that thing be completely dig. solid. How do I... Oh, wait. Oh, okay. So the status is set to dig. Oh, and you just... And I could just casually dig right through it. Wow, that's... Man, ants are fucking cool. <laughs> Somehow I feel like that's maybe not the same as normal ants. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, I'm getting rings everywhere, too. Hold on, batty. <laughs> that ring is you. positively tubular, man. Alright, let's use this scroll of identify to figure out what that ring does. It's a ring of evasion, which means I will become more evasive with it on. I mean, no shit, but, you know. 
I'm a commentator, so I have to explain every little detail as humanely as possible. Okay, here we are. Damn it! Fucking... Why is that guy always around? <laughs> always jacking my He just wants to be your friend. Let's pray to the god and destroy that. I wonder if armor counts. Yeah. Okay, Snakey. You just, you just generally prayed, so... Uh, I don't have any spells. Uh, I kind of want to kill this guy, though. Wait. Beseech Ellie Villain to save your life. Oh, uh, this is if you're mortally wounded and you're about to die. Sometimes your god will be like, Yeah, I can fucking save your life. She won't teleport you out of the way, mind you. And so oh, what is shit. that um, object? It's a sky beast. All right, well, it's been a good run. I think I'm going to die. <laughs> that kind of looks like a Portuguese man of war or something. Oh, fuck. This is that is... just, like, going to murder you? Yes, pretty much. It looks extremely dangerous, which means that it's most likely, likely going to wreck my shit. Can you, like, run? I don't, I don't know quite <laughs> I how easy it is to get away from stuff. I can't. Well, oh, you know what? I might actually be able to make my escape. Yeah, okay. Yeah. But now he's going to well, wait over at the staircase, so I need to find a new staircase to go to. It looks like there is one, so that's good. Yeah, okay. Wow. Why the fuck were they tossing that asshole after me? It's kind of mean. Oh, Rogue there he is again. <laughs> yes, he's a. Uh... Let's work this out. Let's talk it over. Looks oh, like it's shit. like leaving shit behind. Yeah, they just leave is, water on the ground? He is right on my ass, too. Well, he isn't hurting you yet. Uh, now he hurt me. Please? You are starving. Yeah, the more I heal, the more starving I I don't I think become. he's gonna... Uh, well, okay. Yeah, I died. Oh, you can't pray? Uh, I could have, but it's not like it was gonna really do much for me anyway. I've never found it all that effective. Oh. Anyways, so ends the run of uh, the ant healer named Rasuto Furskin. <laughs> okay. Sounds like a bad guess for Rumpelstiltskin. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This is the usual character I work with. I name him Kinsan, which is based off a character I made in um, when I was a little kid. I had this little calculator game that I made called Textoman, where you play that as this, like, fucking peasant, wearing shitty clothes, and even though it was supposed to be a text adventure, you didn't actually have any effect on the, uh, anything that happened in the game. It would just happen no matter what. But then I made a sequel called Choose Master, where Kinsan was the main character, and you eventually had to fight the main character of Textoman, and the funny thing is that he had a stick of death, and if he hit you with it, it was instant death. And then, it, when you defeated him, you'd pick up that stick and then use it to defeat the final boss. Yes, Tony? Can I come in? Yes. Google. Oh, yeah. Is it? Shut up. Yeah, shut up. This is. This what is, is it? Okay, so what this is, is it allows me to put ads on my website from Google. Cheyenne, so I can, if you don't shut up, I'm going to put ads on you. Go ahead. So I can make money off of, like, advertisements on my website. Is that what that says? Is that, like, a permission slip or something? It is a password so that I can y enable the thing. Are you, like, not opening it in front of me in case I... You, what the... I'm not going to open I'm it. I want to see! I want to see! I'm in the middle of a stream. If uh, you want to join, be my guest. Well, can I open that? No. Please? It's... This is mine. Can... You want to open this? Uh, where do I go? No. I don't even know what the fuck this is. This that's, is that's like a Kia thing. Firstly, and it's there's nothing to open anyway. You it's open just this? a piece of paper. This is for my 401k. No. God, come on. I'm so curious. I've never seen a Google Mail before. All right, everybody, you have to see Evil Egg Waffle's so cool. face right now. <laughs> He's got this like genuine look of wonder on him. Please, it's so wonderful. Why? I mean, it, all it does is an... Okay, listen, no. That's it. Yes, I know. It's too fucking bad. Do you want to build a snowman? I don't even know. No. <laughs> <laughs> they were quiet.
quiet this whole time. And then they're like, fuck you with your Frozen. <laughs> oh, that was from the movie Frozen? Unfortunately. I've never seen the movie Frozen, so I don't know jack shit about it. It's a good movie, but it's all the songs are way too... It's not a good movie. I think that dad just, like, shat himself. A fish man doesn't think Frozen is a good movie. That means that you're wrong. So a fish man doesn't want to build a snowman. Uh, but no, all the songs are, like, overplayed on YouTube. So oh. that's why he doesn't want to build a snowman. Uh, one of my friends, uh, a terrible. Are you in the middle of a stream? Yeah, I'm. Well, I mean, who the fuck is gonna not want this shit to happen? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I thought that you know you can't open up a fucking letter, but you can tell me a whole story. Uh, if you want to leave right now, be my guest. Well, I'll listen to your story because you brought it up. <laughs> okay, so a terraformer, um, he has this theory that. The re firstly, the, he thinks that Frozen is an extremely calculated movie meant to sell. And he like said things like, well, firstly, they made all the curls in it really hot. <laughs> and they also... He had some sort of theory about it, I don't, I, but that was the main thing he mentioned. It's right, kind of a carbon I, copy of... I have two questions for you. Wait, wait, wait. Fishman, what were you going to say? <laughs> well, like... The characters in Frozen are kind of like a copy, carbon copy of the designs from like Tangled, because of how successful that film was. They kind of just used more or less the same girl, and then just copy and pasted that three times in that movie. And now, in a unfortunately, in another Disney film, new or what is it, Big Hero Six, I believe, there's another character that looks almost exactly like Rapunzel from the film Tangled. Right. So. Like they they're like reusing the exact same character design this time, so it's especially blatant. Sorry. But I guess... previously it was like an identical face almost. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Well, I guess the um, I guess the concept behind that is that well, Rapunzel was hot, so let's put her in another film. Citation needed. Okay, so this is the character I usually run when I play this game, Kinsan the Conjurer. Um, Deep Elf. Yes. Does he, does he say very insightful things? Uh, well, I mean, he's... He, they have the highest intelligence of any class, and they're also the best at magic-related things. And I am a, that's, I am that's a very smart in a shitty situation. <laughs> Just keep shooting lasers. Oh, you don't have any more lasers. Yeah, I need to I need to run away from them so I can charge my laser. Does it have do... some degree of like homing or do you actually have to aim it? Uh I have to You can just directly aim at them and it just shoots them. Uh but it might miss. Uh this spell does not miss though. Is that a special Cheeto over there? Uh it you when it has like the white thing at the bottom left, that means that it there's more than one item on that tile. Oh. Okay. And since I do desperately need a weapon, let's take that. Alright, so right now what I wanna do is I wanna focus entirely on my spell casting, because that'll give me more magic. Is it um, magic with a K? No, it's with a C. That looks like a lot of shit. Uh, thankfully it's not. Uh, but it's starting to become a lot of shit. Yeah, I just watched them approach that door. I'm like, mm, maybe that right. is still... Oh, shit. Hi, Butterfly. I think Butterflies are relatively harmless in this game. Which is They're funny. It's just the same size as the person, which is a little more threatening than it needs to be. Well, I think it says, like, it's very small. Yeah, it is tiny. So even though its graphic is the bigger icon, than I yeah. am, it's supposed to be tiny. All right, let's see. Did you just uh, kill? Him? Oh, I missed it. You completely it. <laughs> missed the butterfly, sir. You missed the butterfly. You barely missed the butterfly. Why are you trying to kill the butterfly? I don't think these things are actually possible to kill. They're they're too dodgy. You just appear to not be dexterous enough to do so. Come on. Come over here, asshole. No targeted view? Oh. The game probably doesn't consider it an enemy. Oh, whatever. So you can't shoot at it? I can't just auto-attack. 
I'll just lock them all in here like an asshole. There we go. Well, looks know, like oh, they can oh. use doors because that one got out. Yeah, well, that's because he got out before I closed it, I think. Fuck you. Oh, whatever. I'll cast the magic. Really? Oh, oh that's right. Well, I killed him. Uh, but yeah, this magic is one that never misses. You can fail to cast it, or it could do shit damage, uh, but it will never miss. So that's something to be happy about. I'm going to stand up for about 60 seconds and do what I said I was oh. going to do. You find, find some chips to stuff in your face? <laughs> yep. All right, fair enough. Go ahead. I'll be sure to chew really loudly into the stream. All right, awesome. You're not nimble enough. It might be a good idea to equip a plus 15 non nyad ring. Oh, shit. Melty blood references. I should, you know, I should go buy a, a Melty Blood Actress again at some point. Uh, I'm probably not even going to fucking bother to master the game or anything. It's just that I had it for a while and I feel I should support the creators. Probably move my mouse off here. Wow, wow, my computer's slowing down like shit. <laughs> That's not good. All right, so it's kind of easy to use this class because you, you're, you're the basic concept behind it is just to zap shit and use appropriate spells when needed. Ooh, this is interesting. A little room of nice shit. Uh, but I want to stick with my dagger for now. And I'm done exploring this floor. Alright, let's, so let's head to floor two. Hopefully I can get a, run, a good run going on this stream, uh, to make it actually worthwhile to watch. <laughs> uh, but we'll, we'll see what time has in store for us. I uh, should probably use a searing ray here. So let me just show you the spell um, that I learned just now. So I have magic dart, which you start with, and then there's searing ray. Uh, it fires a continuous ray of arcane energy, and if you just stay put, you keep shooting that ray, and each progressive shot is stronger and stronger, and you can shoot it four times in a row. Uh, this is very good. It is unbelievably helpful for ripping the shit out of enemies like Jessica right here, who's a very serious danger. And as you can see, I killed her in like three hits. With other characters, that that character would have been a nightmare. Oh shit. Uh, get the fuck out of there. Okay, we're being chased by some Nals. Uh, hopefully this will kill them. Okay, I killed one of them. Let's see if I could kill the other one. Okay, good. Nals are horrible enemies to deal with with most other classes. Uh, okay. Yeah, it is a very useful spell to use on bosses. Okay. Run away. Okay. I got them in a narrow corridor, so let's blast them to smithereens. <laughs> Up. Oh, we got another one. Oh, boy. Beep. 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 Okay. Man, my spellcasting skill is leveling up like crazy. And the reason why is because I have a very high aptitude for it. I have plus three aptitude, which means it takes a lot less experience to level it up than it would for things with lower aptitudes. I think I might have mentioned that already, but I'll just mention it again. Just in case people didn't hear the first time. We got ourselves an asshole over here. Uh, also, get used to me calling things assholes. Like this guy. He's an asshole. He's like a very enormous asshole. Uh, I was hoping the mouse would walk right into my beam. But alas, he did not. Oh, here we are. You die. You die. You die. Uh, sometimes if you spam magic and miscast, you'll become contaminated with your own magic. 
And if you become too contaminated, according to my friend Lewis, uh, eventually you will... It, it will cause mutations. Uh, and what mutations do is they give you like a permanent thing that either benefits you or does bad shit to you. Like sometimes you'll get like a mutation that gives you permanent immunity to poison. Uh, other times you'll get something that makes you super susceptible to, for example, fire. Uh, so mutations can be a good or bad thing. Did you get mutated? Yeah. What are you? I'm uh, I'm a deep elf. No, I mean, what are you mutated into? Uh, it's randomized what mutation you get. Sometimes you'll get things like you'll, you'll sprout horns on your head or gain tentacles, and those can actually benefit you because, like, for example, if you have tentacles, that means you can wear more rings, such as oh, this wow. one. Do you um, know what your mutation is all the time? Hmm? Do you always know what your mutation is? Uh, yeah, the game will tell you what, you're muta what you mutated. But it won't does tell it specifically you... tell you what it does, or no? Oh, yes, it tells you what it does. Oh, okay. Uh, it's... Eternal Chaos says it's both awesome and super luck-based. Uh, in this game, you... Like, the whole idea behind this game is that you want to be prepared for anything. For example, I'm on Dungeon 3, which means that previous characters I've, ha I've ran that have died on this floor have a chance of spawning as a ghost here. And ghosts, player ghosts, are some of the worst enemies in the whole game because they're characters that you made and kicked so much ass. So if you come across one, chances are you're, you're going to want to run away. And the good thing is that they cannot follow you, follow you upstairs. So you can actually use this to your advantage. Uh, in fact, what I should probably do is I should go somewhere safe and be prepared. Uh, let's memorize the Dazzling Spray skill. So, what this Dazzling Spray skill does is you can sh hit three enemies at once, and it, is, it has a chance of dazzling their vision, temporarily blinding them. So it's very helpful, as you can imagine. All right. Out of curiosity, is my chewing really like loud and annoying? Uh, no. I, I Have you heard anything? It. I can barely hear it. Hear it. Oh, that's good. Okay. That means I need to do it louder. <laughs> yes, please do it louder. Um, so this is the grinder enemy. Uh, this guy is considered extremely dangerous, but if you're a wizard, uh, I, f I tend to find that this guy is kind of easy to kill. The problem is that he usually has a magic wand or some shit that will, like, paralyze you. Oh wait, no, he has, he has a magical ability that paralyzes you. He's slow, so it takes a while for him to catch up to you, so he'll use that skill and his blink teleportation. To kind of like keep you on your toes. Uh, but I find that it, I, since I'm a wizard, I could just kick the shit out of them old school style and it's pretty effective. Oh, oh I lost the ability to move. Okay. Is, is but, he, what kind of gesture is he doing? Is he like giving you the finger or? Oh shit. Okay. Uh, I'm in bad shape. I'm just gonna keep smacking him with magic. Almost dead. Yep. Okay. There we go. I killed him. Ooh, that was a close one. Look how much experience I got, though. That's awesome. I'm up to. I'm now at level six. And he dropped a wand. So let's figure out what that does. Ooh, maybe two wands. I should probably rest. You definitely have two wands. Yeah. Yeah, I'm feeling very hungry. No shit game. So silver wand. That is a wand of confusion. And this is a wand of enslavement. <laughs> this will be fun. Oh, that so that's your Robin source Jones. of allies. Uh, yeah, you can forcefully make some enemies fight for you. Oh, ooh, another boss. And this guy's even I... weaker. You, on the other hand, are near starving. Maybe I can kill him. No, he's kicking my ass. Okay, spell casting went up. Okay. Uh, oh, and he didn't leave a corpse, so I can't even eat him. Can't even om nom him. 
Well, maybe you can eat that. Okay. This guy left a corpse, though. Let's eat that. And I'm still hungry. Shit. Cabald leaves a poisonous corpse, so... Like, that's not gonna help me much here, but I might as well wipe these assholes out. Yeah, enslavement is very nice in this game. You can use it to your advantage in pretty much any situation. In fact, there have been instances where I came across an, a monster that I was having trouble killing, and then I so I would just enslave him and, and have him kill other on monsters for me until he died. Can you bring them between floors, or do they? Uh, sometimes not quite it depends. All right, we got a double deuce going on here. Uh, let's use that dazzling spray now, because I can hit both of them at the same time and basically shit their wreck. Come closer. No, he he was too scared. He chickened out. What's in here? I have a feeling I'm gonna come across some strong enemies here, so I'm a little worried. Oh, no, it's a cockroach. Those are strong. No, they're not. <laughs> they're a relatively weak enemy. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's what I thought was going to happen. Okay, this that? is a big cabal. They're kind of a boss character, sort of, kind of. Uh, okay, I want to hit him again with the dazzling spray. I want to keep hitting him until he's blind. And now he's blind. Okay. And take advantage of that by using the searing ray and hope that he runs into it like an idiot. Which he didn't. No longer blind, by the way. Yeah, he's no longer blind, whatever. I just, I killed the shit out of him anyway. Did you eat him? Uh, it's not a good idea to eat cabalds because they're poisonous. I don't know why. But... Alright. Oh, hi! <laughs> Let's see if I can wipe these guys out quickly and painfully. See, this is why conjurers kick so much ass is because... Hello. What is that? <laughs> what are those weird, like, gingerbread men on the right? Uh, those are gnolls. Oh, shit. Okay. Get out of there, man. Who's knocking on my door? Hey, Dylan. Oh, shit. I just saw a ghost. Yep, there he is. Hey, look. Kinsan. Wait, is that another one of your old Kinsans? Yes. Uh, so, yeah, this is why I was talking about, about ghosts. Come in, Dylan. What's up? Oh, okay. I am playing a game called Stone Soup. Alright, hang on. I got some, I got an idea. Uh, well, I could enslave him, but fuck that shit. Let's use the Searing Ray. There we go. Okay. So there's ghosts down there. This is a bad thing. I need to find a way to deal with him. Uh, because e even though the game said he's a weakling... You are, but... Yeah, I'm starving. Uh, even though the game says that he's a weakling... Chances the game are is he, lying. Chances are he can do shit that will fuck me up. Uh, the, ga the game's like even tells you, level annotation, Kinsan's ghost... He's a weakling, uh, deep elf conjurer. That's what these stand for. Uh -huh. Yeah, so we've got a doppelganger fight going on, ladies and gentlemen. Get ready for the fight of the century. That will probably end with me dying. Oh, that's armor. I thought that was maybe like a big old piece of meat. There we go. Okay, so my spellcasting skill is now at level 10. I'm going to focus now on... I should probably focus on dodging, actually, because uh, as a wizard, you don't want to get hit a lot. I know this is a big surprise. Is there a way to focus on having more MP? Oh, okay, there he is. It looks like you have two Kenzans, okay. or maybe just one. It says that he looks dangerous. No, this is where I last saw him in that oh, specific okay, dark okay. area. Oh, that always gets me. All right. Is he immune to being enslaved? No, he's not, because he resists. Yes! I enslaved him! You okay. have yourself. I have to, I'm going to have to use this to buy myself some time, because eventually he's going to snap out of it. Okay, think this over carefully, Mark. Is he going to follow you? 
Yeah, he's going to follow me around because he's a ghost. Oh, because he's enslaved. Mm -hmm. So he's like, hey, you're that nice guy that enslaved me. I don't... I, I tend to find that Dazzling Spray doesn't really work on ghosts. What sucks about ghosts is that they have all the same stats as when they died and the same equipment. But, in addition to that, they have immunity to poison and immunity c to constrictions. And they can float over water and shit. So they're basically like you, but better. <laughs> Alright, uh, I'm gonna take a risk here. This is not a good idea. But it's he. it says he's a weakling, so I think... I think I might be able to get away with this tactic. Yes, I'm gonna hit him. Yes! No longer charmed. Oh, he's, he's gone. Okay. So, another good thing is that when you experience a ghost, you will only experience that specific ghost once. Uh, now, this might be confusing, because we might come across another ghost called Kinsan, but that's because I ran a lot of characters named Kinsan. But once you see that ghost once, they're, they're not going to show up ever again in any other playthrough. Kobold shelves. Yeah, these guys are fu these guys are everywhere. I bet they got some nice shit here too. Okay, this is a amulet of stasis. What does that mean? Oh, basically, I, I it resists teleports and translocation. Uh, the limitations to the enslavement staff, eternal chaos, are nothing really. It sounds really useful, but uh, and it is. Um, but it's not permanent. Yeah, it's not permanent. That's really the only big downside to it. But uh, enemies can resist it, so it's not like you can. It's not like spamming it willy nilly is always going to work. Oh, wow! Look at all the Cheetos. Cobalt's really like eating Cheetos. I'm gonna close this door. They pr they didn't they haven't noticed me yet. Well, the okay. cockroach did. Okay. While they're asleep, I'll take advantage of the situation. Oh, oh, hey there, buddy. You're a handsome fella. Uh, up. Oh, oh shit. Let's see if I can outbeat this guy. Yep. I meleeed him. Okay. Ooh, a robe. And it's nice and blue and sexy. And it's a special enchanted one. It's a robe of positive energy and it's A plus 2. It looks like it turned you green. Yep. But the robe is not green. Robe. So this means that anything with negative energy is not going to deal jack shit to me. Uh, what's also nice is that I have a ring of C invisible. And early in the game there's this enemy called a phantom. And they turn invisible and they are the worst. So now that I have the one thing that will kick, that'll negate their invisibility, they are actually kind of easy to kill. Wow, these guys are everywhere. All right, I need. So which good... race lets you eat kobolds? Uh, I think trolls can do it, and I think kobolds can do it because they can eat. I think anything. That seems like the what the way to go. Uh, okay. Oh, okay, so we got two lined up, so I can double confuse them. Yay! Oh, shit. Yeah, okay. those dudes are still alive. Oh, I killed them. Okay, good. I can use this time to kill these assholes. Aw, oh, shit, it missed. Okay, good. My dodging is leveling up. That's good. Uh, rest for a little bit. Hey, <laughs> come to avenge your friends, I see. I assure you, it's not as easy as it seems. <laughs> wow, look at all the Cheetos. We could set up a Cheeto restaurant. Okay, I better get out of the water. When you're in the water, your movement's hindered. So other characters take more turns, or what? Uh, I think it's just harder to dodge attacks and whatnot. Oh. Oh, uh, that would be it. I'll need to get that. Immunity to negative negativity sounds positive. Very clever, Eternal Chaos. You get a brownie point for that one.
Okay. I think we're almost done with this floor. I just realized I wasn't talking that much once he left. Uh, okay, so this floor has been partly explored. Let's go on down to the next floor. I'm probably going to experience another Ghost of Kinsan. And that's not going to be fun. Okay. Cut this guy up. Let's see what spells we can learn. Uh, ideally, I want to... I want to... Okay, so the more you level up your spellcasting skill, uh, the, the more likely it will be that you can cast the spell without failure. I, ideally, I want to be able to use this spell uh, as quickly as possible, because this is very helpful. It's basically a, a, a sphere that when you cast a spell, it'll cast the same spell on the same enemy. So it's basically twice the fi firepower. And right now I have a 78% chance of failure, which sucks. Uh, I think what I should do is, instead of leveling up my dodging, I should level up my conjurations. But, I think for now, I, I'm not, I'm not gonna hurry and, and learn it. I wanna level up my dodge, cause, man, shit gets annoying if you don't. Ooh! There's a ecumenical temple. Hopefully it's not a fake one. But if it's a real one, that means I can go and find a god to worship. Yep. Okay, good. Let's see what gods they have on the menu today. Okay, so this is the this is the altar of Vehemet. Uh When you worship him, basically all he wants you to do is kill the living shit out of everything. And in a, as a reward, he'll give you more spells to cause even more destruction. Uh, this guy over here is the Altar of Dithmenos, and that guy is all about darkness. If you destroy sources of light, uh, he likes that. He doesn't like it when you make light yourself or cast fire. Um, I think that guy's good for, um, like, stealthy characters. Uh, this is Zom. He's a god who just doesn't give a shit. He'll do whatever the fuck he wants, and you have no say. Uh, this is the altar of Zin. This is the god of discipline. You have to give up a lot of money, and you can kick the shit out of evil things. He's one of the good gods. How do you tithe in the middle of a dungeon? Huh? How do you tithe in the middle of a dungeon? Tithe? Tithing? You know, like, giving up some of your money to the church? Oh, uh, How do you I think do that he in just dungeon? takes money or whatever. Uh, I think this is a god of necromancy. So that other one's the god of taxes, is more like it. Yeah, Zin is kind of the god of taxes when you think about it. Um, followers who must oppose all things holy can cause le raise legions of servile undead. So I think there are two gods of, like, necromancy. Mm -hmm. There's another one who who's like, he has a really long name with a lot of K's in it. Uh, he has no interest in sacrifices, and he prefers the corpses to be put to use by basically making them uh, serve you. Did you okay. join it? Okay, this is no, I didn't join him. Oh, okay, so this is this is Nemlex Zobith, the Yami Yugi God. <laughs> what? Uh, followers are encouraged to trust in the faith of of the cards and use them as much as possible. Basically, All what right, this then. guy does is when uh, he likes it when you explore the level, and in return he'll give you cards, and usually they'll be good things. But he is a god; uh, he's kind of a gambling god. In, in kind of sounds like my god. Uh, the I'm a terrible one. person who plays Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, I think I think you would appreciate that god. <laughs> I I worshipped him once, and it paid off quite well. He made me summon a whole bunch of fucking awesome shit. Three blue eyes white dragons? Pretty much. <laughs> Alright then. Uh, for forsaking dark magic and under... This is kind of a god of honor. Mm -hmm. And he also... He lets you call angels. He's another god of goodness. Uh, this is Ellie Villain. That's the god I worshipped when I was a healer. Uh... This god, I keep forgetting who he is. I think this is the god of, like, elements and tempests. So he's kind of an air-related god. This is the god of slowness. 
and snails. He appreciates it when you're slow as fuck, and in return you attain perfection of mind and body. Uh, but you have to be slow as fuck. And that's not good, especially in the late game. Uh, this is... Ah, uh, this is the guy that I was talking about of necromancy. Okay, so he only, he only has two Ks, but look at that fucking name! Kikaba Kudag, Kudga. Like, what the fuck? And this is uh, apparently the really fucked up one. Where is the god I'm looking for? I don't think he's in this one. No, he's not. I could choose to worship Vehemut. Uh, I kind of want to worship Sif Muna, but... You know what? I don't want to wait for that. It's important in this game to adjust to and adapt. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to worship Vehemut. Alright, so now we Which are in one the is mid game. Hmm? Oh, is this just like, mage god? Uh, this god is all about destroying shit and causing as much destruction as possible. Uh, a lot of people recommend him over the god I typically pray to, which is Sif Muna. Um, but I prefer Sif Muna because he gives you... Because Vehemut only gives you, like, one spell. And Sif Muna will give you an entire book of spells. Uh, the difference here is that Vehemut always gives you spells that are good for destruction and stuff. And since I am a conjurer, that does benefit me a lot more than Sif Muna would. But sometimes Sif Muna will give you, like, nice utility spells, such as invisibility. So, it's really... It's quite a toss-up. What's Dev Pro? Uh, Dev Pro is a automated Yu-Gi-Oh simulator. Oh. Okay, so this is a shop. Um, a lot of these things look like I can't afford them. No, can't. Can't afford much of them at all. Let's see. Ring of protection, uncursed ring of flight, ring of magical power. Why would you want a minus two ring of slaying? I don't know. Uh, I think I'm gonna go for that ring of protection though. Uh, the ring of flight would be handy, but I've never used flight before, so I'm a little nervous on that in that regard. I noticed that it doesn't specify whether it's cursed or uncursed. Does that mean it's random? Uh, usually it's not cursed if the shop doesn't say anything about it being cursed. <laughs> oh, well, it just didn't say it was uncursed, so, you know. Oh. Yeah. Oh, whoops. All right, I better find Accepts shit to your eat. kill. Yeah. So long as you keep killing shit, Vehement will be pretty much happy with you. He's kind of a low management god. That's a great sword, and it's a ruined great sword, I think. Does ruined mean it like shit. does shit? Oh, curse negative three. Wow. Okay, now we have to figure out which one of these scrolls is a scroll of remove curse. I think you had one actually, although I don't remember if it was the previous character. Uh, this is a scroll of amnesia, which allows you to forget spells. And here we go, scroll of identify. Yep, okay, scroll of remove curse. Hooray, now I can take off that bad sword and put it down. Yeah, how effed up is it that a, you got a cursed weapon that is also requiring two hands? Oh, yeah, that sucks. Although I don't know if that actually comes into play. Oh, oh shit. Oh, hey, look. Another Kinsan. Kinsan the Ruinous. Okay. He doesn't notice me yet, but he will in, like, five seconds. He has, seconds. like, a question mark, I guess. Hang on. Enslave him. Okay, good. Uh, Your own clone. Now neither of you will be virgins. Yes, this this is basically the Kinsan versus Kinsan theater right here. All right, so let's talk to him. Uh, let's tell him to wait here, so that I can run the fuck away. Oh, you can actually tell them to wait and then just ditch them. Yes. All right. That seems like the way to go. What I want to do, what I should have done is I. Probably, yeah, he's back in that spot again. What I should be doing is, uh, wait, does he resist? Oh, he easily resisted, which means he's not immune to it. So at the very least, but I you're that probably much. not gonna. All right, let's see if I could out damage him. Yeah, he doesn't seem all that dangerous. Good, yes. This must have been one of those ones where you didn't do a very good job. 
Yeah. <laughs> or something. Something came around and screwed you. <laughs> Got killed by a cockroach while I was at low HP. <laughs> while unarmed. It could happen. It said that he was an average wizard, so... Yeah, something definitely happened. Fuck. <laughs> Sif what? Luna's right there. I should have just waited. Can you... Was there not a Sif Muna, like, sitting around uh, in, the, in that bazaar of uh, religions? Uh, no, there wasn't. Uh, uh, is that, like, right a hidden here, one? I could just switch over, but that'll piss off my current god, so I don't want to do that. What happens exactly when they're pissed at you? Uh, it depends on the god. Um, a while ago, I think I pissed off the elemental god. And what he did is he what he would sometimes summon super powerful monsters to kick my ass, and other times he would make the floor turn into lava. So like there would be, the um, the scenery would, would be treacherous. That lava thing sounds a little fucked up. Uh yeah, it won't kill you, because uh, he doesn't like spawn run right below you. Oh, he just, like, makes more lava to make it harder to just traverse the landscape. Tiles. Yeah. Uh, so it's generally not much of a detriment, and sometimes it works to your advantage, because if you confuse enemies, they'll sometimes accidentally walk into the lava. Oh. Well. So, so it's very survivable. The problem arises when he summons shit like fucking sky beasts to kick the shit out of you. Oh, shit. What are you? I've never seen you before. Prince Ribbit. Uh, he hasn't noticed me yet. That ogre has. Is that has. like a boss? I'm guessing he's some kind of boss. I'm not pleased. Okay. Please die. Okay, he's been blinded, which means his accuracy is shit now. Oh. Okay. Oh, left... whoa, is that like a spicy wing? What? Spicy chicken wing, you know? It's oh. more like a drumstick. Oh! But... <laughs> yeah, that's funny. I couldn't... Okay. You know, I gotta just do... Keep up the food shtick. You gotta while keep talking up your about gimmick. Sticks. Yeah, it's my gimmick. I'll, uh, I'll start a Let's Play channel where all I do is uh, compare menial drops in games to food. Let's play Kirby. A game all about eating. So this is right up my alley. <laughs> This is what it'll do. Kind of looks like a cream puff. Uh, <laughs> I can see that going places. Okay, so the problem here is that the ogre opened up this door, which means that that, that frog prince is now ready to unleash its hatred upon mankind. In oh, wait, he's still in there. It says he's extremely dangerous. Blinks uncontrollably? Is that referring to the teleporting? Yeah, he teleports a shitload. Oh, okay. okay. I thought maybe that was just referring to blinking uncontrollably. I'm going to try something here. This is... I don't think he can open the door. So I might be able to get a free... Oh, he was moderately wounded by that. Yeah, I don't think he can... He can uh, open the door. Up oh, and now he's right in front of me. Okay, uh, well, I got him into a choke point, which means that I'm at a, at an advantage here. And he's blinded. All right, you're ready to bite it, asshole. Oh, shit. He actually does a shitload of damage. Oh, and he killed oh, me. Oh, are you dead? I got cocky. So who is a... Uh, that seems like an exciting run. Uh, that was a Spriggan Enchanter. Uh, that was a run where I was just like, eh, this is not going to get very far. And then it did, and I got pissed off. Uh, and he died a humiliating death to a snail called Gastronok. Gastronok? Yeah. Is that actually... It's a boss snail. A giant boss snail that is dedicated to eating everything or some shit like that. Um, hmm. And I hate him. <laughs> uh, but, like, what's funny is that in my best run with Kinsan, 
I came across that snail, and I was much lower leveled, and yeah. I beat him easily. <laughs> so it has some variety of, uh, or maybe some difference in resistances, or yes. are perhaps stats randomized? I think the problem was that the Spriggan Enchanter <laughs> didn't really have a way, like... Spriggans are a race that rely on speed and stealth, and this guy had a skill that kind of negated his evasion, so he just mm -hmm. kept getting his ass kicked. And plus, because the Gastronach was already aware of his presence, he couldn't really do anything very effective against him. Uh, so, and because I got cocky, I was, like, dedicated to killing that boss, so eventually he just outdid me. But when I played as Kinsen and got really far as a Deep Elf Conjurer, uh, I was like level 5 when he showed up or some shit. And I just went, like, I literally just spammed the shit out of magic on him, blinded him, used the Searing Ray, and fucking demolished him. It was awesome and glorious. Hmm. Okay, so, because I want to, because I want to, Spice up this stream a little bit. Let's choose a different character. Um, German Gridef. Jumanji. Whoop. Oh, whoops. Okay, German now you have to be Jumanji. Gridef. There we go. Uh oh. Okay, so I'm going to let you choose the class this time. Uh, I'm pretty much going to have to say Tengu. All right. What do they do? Oh. Uh, they can fly after enough level ups, and they're very good at air magic. Um, hmm. They're super fragile, though. Uh, kind of seems like you'd want. Well, hover over air elementalist. Uh, like I want to see what it says. Uh, I don't. Yeah, that means nothing to me. Um, what is summoner? Maybe I mean you'd have something distracting. Uh, Else. From yeah, you can summon small animals, and as you level up, you'll be able to summon better shit, because you start with a book on summoning. That kind of seems like maybe it'd be the way to go. Because Venom Mage, I mean, unless you, like, put a damage over time and start running, you're probably going to not be good at killing things. Yeah, probably not. Summoner seems... What is Wizard, exactly? Wizard's kind of an all-around wizard. Like, they, they use everything, but... Uh, that means that they're shit at the early game. Um, a general rule with Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup is that in the specialize. beginning of the game, you want to specialize as much as possible, and then in the late game, that's when you want to start branching out with shit that your character's not necessarily good at. Because the more, like, the more generalized your character is from that point, the easier it'll be because they'll be more adaptable to the larger variety of enemies. You basically get a bread and butter so that you can get your experience reliably and then use it. Yeah. To load up everything else, diversify. Um, what is Berserker? Is that like a... Okay, they are... Anything under the Zealot category is something that starts with, like, a god that they worship. Yeah. Uh, Berserkers worship Trog, the magic-hating god of frenzy. Basically, you can go berserking shit the living shit out of enemies. That almost seems like maybe the way to go for a character that's fragile as hell. Uh, well, like, I d that's more of a... Like, ideally you'd want a character like a troll for that one, because trolls are with a lot very of hell. good at kicking the shit out of things. They're also just an easy class to use in general, uh, even though they are, they are very simple a character to use. Like, they don't have a lot of options, but... Because they're so good at what they do, they just wreck the shit out of everything uh, anyway. I feel like Summoner might be the best, since it sounds like it would be an inherently different experience from the other stuff. Yes. Alright, so I can summon small mammals. Exciting. Hopefully it's a good small mammal. Do you have to feed the small mammal? Nope, they just disappear after a while. Alright, a sling, okay. and that might be handy. Oh. Oh, Okay. Oh, it's rat on rat action. That one's got a heart. That one's really ready to mount the rat. I'm so excited. Okay. Here, so... I'll be just one moment. Okay. Carry on what you're doing. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is firstly look at the comments. All right, nothing too exciting in there. 
Uh, summoning sounds fun. Yes, I, don't, I generally don't like the summoning class because it becomes a clusterfuck after a while when you start to spam them. Uh, so, since I have a dude that follows my orders, I'm going to use the T button and set them to give them an order to attack that rat. And by doing that, you actually wake up the rat because you're speaking. Oh, shit, my rat died. Summon a whole shitload. Fight for me. Oh, wow. They got their asses kicked. Okay, yeah. See, this is another reason why I don't like using summoners. <laughs> They're not the most reliable class. Please save me. God damn it. Oh, great. Now I have a whole fucking army of enemies coming after me. And your summon doesn't appear to be active. Uh, that's because... I don't know. I think he just ran away. It was too small of a mammal. Okay. Well, there... Yes! Okay. He killed the one. This is buying me time to summon more shit. Is there a limitation to how many you can summon? Or can you really just, like, crank out an army of woodland critters? I, I think you can summon up to... Th oh, it says four is your maximum you can summon. But once That's you still a pretty hefty amount. Once you summon, like, more... Once you have more summoning options, you can, you can, like, combine the summons. Like, summon four small mammals and then summon three imps. So uh. you have, like seven fuckers you can use. Does that draw on your MP? Is that what it is? Uh, yes. It uses your MP. It doesn't look like you need the spell casting at the moment, since... Well, is, do you actually have any? Or? Here's what spell casting does and why it's so important. Um, spell casting makes it so you have more spell slots so oh. that you can learn new spells. Uh, summonings... I don't know what the fuck that does. <laughs> but spell casting is important. Does it say if you hover over it? Right here. No, I meant if you hover over summoning. Uh, where's summoning? Summoning. Hmm. So I guess it just makes you summon better stuff. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Lower chance of creating hostile creatures? Is that a failed summon? Yeah, I guess. Hmm. Oh, wow. Interesting. That sounds like shit. What does? Um... Okay, so, like, my spellcasting aptitude is kind of shit. It's negative one. Mm-hmm. Uh, which means that it's going to level up slowly. Which means that I'm not going to be learning a lot of new spells very fast. So, my early game's probably going to be tough, because I don't have I assume that has options. a lot to do with the, uh, the race you are, though. Yeah, because I'm a Tengu. Uh, actually, what are Tengus good at? They're good at a lot of things, it appears. Part particularly conjurations uh, and summonings. Uh, they aren't good at hexes and charms. They're What's that plus three in the bottom room? Air magic. Ah, air magic, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that means that uh, air magic would have been good to invest in. Okay. Kill him! What's annoying is that... You have three dudes? Yeah, you got three dudes. Uh, what's annoying is that the en the enemies know to go straight for you. They're not going to bother fighting your uh, summons unless you... Um, unless they're directly in their way. It kind of looks like you had like a wall formation going there. It's always a good idea to like set up choke points. Or get the enemies in choke points so that they have no choice but to fight your dudes. We got a dagger. Oh, that's a short sword. Whatever. Same difference. 
Boop, boop. Okay, hang on. We got some dudes here. They're sleepy dudes. Alright. Sick them! Oh, I reached level two. Uh, oh, I should probably make some more dudes. Well, based on how quickly people seem to wake up when you enter a room, I assume at low stealth ratings, you are practically announcing yourself as you walk in a doorway? Yes. Uh, when you have high stealth, like I did with my Spurgan, because Spurgans uh, have plus five aptitude in stealth, meaning it levels up fucking fast as shit. At that point, you could literally probably just walk around a room, like, make three laps around it, and they won't fucking wake up. <laughs> Passivism run? Uh, well... Nah, that was, I wasn't being serious. Oh. Um, ideally, like, if you have very high stealth, what you want to do is you want to get yourself a dagger so that when you come across sleeping enemies, you can assassinate them. Yes, that is a skill in the game. Oh. Um. Because when they're asleep, uh, daggers deal shitloads of damage. In fact, this right. is the only time they deal shitloads of damage to enemies. It, otherwise, you, they're just kind of mediocre. They deal kind of shit damage. Otherwise, they're accurate, but they deal shit damage. But um. What was I going to say? Yeah, okay, so, like, it it's v very good idea to, like, confuse enemies or to attack sleeping enemies with a dagger, because it, it's usually an instant kill for them. Oh. Uh, that's why my Spriggan was able to get so far, uh, because they have such high stealth and shit that even difficult enemies not only cannot notice them very easily, but it gives them a lot of opportunities to get one-hit kills. Even on supposedly dangerous enemies. And because Spurgans have such high movement speed, any battles where, like, things are looking low, you could easily just walk away from and, uh, you know, get out of safely and then just bide your time for when they're vulnerable. Right. So, so that's kind of why this, uh, people recommend Spurgan. Because it's a very easy class to play if you're trying to do stealth shit. Um, there's a whole bunch of classes that are considered easy to play, and I think Troll is one of them, Halfling is one of them. Most classes that are reliant on speed tend to be the easy classes to play, uh, with the exception of things like Trolls, who just simply have shitloads of firepower to make up for their shortcomings in literally everything. Oh. I should pro- I'm gonna die. Uh, while I'm at it, I might as well kill this guy, though. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> oh, and I'm lethally poisoned. Alright, it's time for desperate measures. Oh, oh, okay, so I drank a potion of curing. Convenient. Does okay. the potion proc what it is when you pick it up, or is it whenever you try to use it? Um... You use it once, and then you f and from trial and error, essentially, you figure out what it does. The game will be like, "Oh, it made you do this. It must be a potion of this." And then from now on, from then on, when you come across similar potions, it'll it'll immediately know that that's the potion. Wow. Oh no, I was just wondering if about maybe when it checks what it is. Like perhaps, perhaps there's some situational things where it's like, "Oh, you need this," and it like maybe has a higher chance of being what you need. I don't know. Uh, probably not. You just need to Yeah, I wasn't prepared. sure if it was generated at the beginning or not. Alright, I'm gonna have to sneak away while my enemy, while my dudes get their asses kicked. Uh, you know what I should be doing? Okay, kill. Going up please. any of those stairs or helping? Uh, raise my intelligence. Okay. Since I'm level 3, I should probably try and learn some better sp uh, summons. Yes, Dylan? Oh, that was, that was his door. I thought that was mine. Uh, one moment.
All right, sorry for keeping you all waiting. <sighs> Fair enough. So at some point, I'm I'm gonna need to find out how to make it so I can show the Twitch chat as I play this because I do intend to do more videos of me playing this. Are you looking for like maybe like people to suggest things to do? Uh, what? Are you looking for people to maybe suggest what kind of characters you play in the chat? Well, more like I just want to upload something for people to watch. Ah. Uh. Because I, I don't upload things very often. And I oh, kind of do want to get more productive. And I'm lethally poisoned. <sighs> and now I'm confused. And now I'm a tree. <laughs> what? Uh, I was quaffing potions to see which ones will save me from the poison. And ironically, the tree was the one who did that. Because I think trees have very high regeneration. But yeah, sometimes uh, potions will turn you into trees. Okay, uh, yeah, you know. Perfectly normal. Uh, oh, now your tree is going to get his ass kicked. I hope not. Okay, he died. Which means this is going to buy me time. And I feel less woody, so now I can... I feel less woody. Tree. Your morning wood has fallen. Mm-hmm. Take note, I'm eating dinner, because I've been needing to eat dinner for a while now. I am also. So, you know, just murder worms. Hmm. I'm going to start learning some new s spells, because these ones aren't going to hold me over forever. Now I can summon imps. Imp kind of sounds like the kind of thing that could fail a little more often. Thankfully, that rarely happens, so... <laughs> ah, okay. Plus, they have high speed, so, that, so they can easily kick out speed enemies. They're very nice to have in the early game. Are you canceling their summons, or are they getting their ass kicked? Ah, shit. I'm gonna die! <laughs> are you poisoned? Oh. Yep, I'm poisoned. Pray. Oh, let's enchant a weapon before we die. Actually, you know, uh, you know. Uh, I think I'm screwed. <laughs> Oh, scroll of identify, thank you. Yep, and I died. So yeah, I'm not very good with classes I haven't used before. Ah. Uh. Alright, because I'm gonna be boring. Let's use the Spurgan Enchanter, because that's the one where I got farthest with. Is this the former name of, or no? Hmm? Is this the former name of your Spriggan? No. The previous name was, like, ZZZZ. -Z -Z -Z. It was the high score. Oh, right, 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 right. Then again, the Spriggan Enchanter. So you start with a relatively shitty spell, Corona, which I've never found helpful once. What oh, is it? Does it conjure beer? <laughs> um, the glow, uh, this is what it does. Huh. And there you go. Um, yeah, I, I don't even fully understand what that would do. So this is the spell I want to learn, the confusion spell. Mm-hmm. Uh, this thing is very good at making enemies suck. I also want to learn this one, because this is a sleep spell. That's also very handy, so let's see. So yeah, as you can see right here, dodging and stealth are extremely high level, and they have high aptitudes. So, so in this case, are you going to focus, or...? Yeah, I'm going to focus the living shit out of that 
shit. Uh, I was just wondering which ones you're gonna focus on. Dodging, stealth. Honestly, those are all I need. Well, I do need spell casting, but for now, let's focus on stealth and dodging. Survivability. Yeah. See, I opened the door right in front of his face, and he didn't even notice. And I killed him instantly. This is why. Sp now you can see why Spriggans are so fucking good. <laughs> A potion of porridge? Oh, yeah. That's. It's supposed to feed you. Okay. So, let's see if I creep up against him before he detects me. Nope. Failed. Yeah, first your stealth is gonna be kinda not great, but that's fine. Yeah, you're getting stats from it, so... You know, I'm sure that'll skyrocket. Yeah, it's gonna skyrocket big time. And what's also worth noting is that uh, Spurgans, because they have uh, really high movement speed, you can pretty much outrun anything. So you, you pretty much never have to worry about fighting something way you above your to. level. Because you'll, you'll have a way to deal with it, usually. Yeah, see, I mean, most of these enemies don't even take effort to kill, because you can just walk up to them and death them. Like that. That guy didn't even wake up. This guy did, though. Uh, it is important to level up your stealth consistently, because cause as you get lower, enemies are more aware. Right. I'm going to use Corona against this guy. Eh. Okay, I'm going to run out of there. Yeah, there's no way they're going to be able to catch up with me, so I could just sit wherever, wait it out, and then eventually they're going to be like, Oh no, where did he go? Use the Corona spell. Simply because it makes them easier to hit. Well, I thought it wasn't useful. It's not. <laughs> I'm, I'm just giving you shit. Like, early in the game, you're going to use it only occasionally, and once, it, pretty much the moment you get the confusion spell, you're never going to use it again. Oh, oh, shit, yeah. See, if I was any other class, I wouldn't be able to outrun him. No, he did are a fast. shitload of... Once he does a shitload of damage, I'm like, okay, I can run out, and he can't even do anything about it, because I'm way faster. Uh... I think eventually he'll forget my existence, so... Hmm, this looks like a good place to close the doors. Okay, sit down... And take this sweet time to learn the Ensorcelled Hibernation spell. Preferably, I want to learn the Confuse spell. Uh, but this will have to do for now. So you can put whatever to sleep. Yep, and there you are. Now watch how easy this is. R ready? Okay, so use this. It didn't... He, it failed. So let's try again. And he's asleep. And he woke up again. Well, he was game, drowsy. Are you going to fucking contradict me, game? Uh, this game's trying to contradict me. Okay, but, like, I can still run away from him for a while. On... For pretty much ever, actually. Boop. Come on, game. Give me a fucking break. Shit! Why does it keep waking up immediately? Is drowsy the same as asleep? Uh, it might yeah, not be fully so. asleep. I don't know. It's very similar, at least. Oh, shit. 
Okay. I there's no reason I can't eat those guys after I kill them because I'm a, I'm an herbivore. So, but that's fine because sprigans are very small, so they don't need a lot of food anyway. So, again, like one of the reasons why they're an easy class is because their their limited flaws that they do have aren't much of a hindrance. Fair enough. I want to kill that Null. Where the fuck did he go? There he is. Hey there, buddy. Okay, he's unaware. I can stab him. And see, one single head. And he's just flat out dead. Okay, I don't need that meat. Okay. Well, I, no point putting him to sleep when he's not even awake. <laughs> just casually walk up to him and he's just dead. Oh, uh, this guy's a bit more aware. Boop. Come on! Yeah, I definitely need to level this up, uh, level my spell casting up a bit more so that I can consistently cast that firstly. Right. And so it'll more likely actually work. Yeah, see, notice how if I fight him while he's awake, I get my ass kicked. And this is like one of the weakest enemies in the game. There we go. Eventually, uh, in my run, my best run with the Spriggan, uh, I, I started to branch out to learning Conjurations uh, so that I'd have a bit more offensive output. If your stabby didn't work? Yeah. Basically. Fall asleep. You're getting very sleepy. Yay. My stealth skill leveled up. That's good. Come on. There we go. Nope, nothing worth over here. Oh, Cabald. Yeah. Oh, uh, that was ugly. Yeah, straight up fights. Not gonna work out too well for the Spriggan. But otherwise... Fucking go nuts. There we go. <sighs> Damn it. <laughs> go to sleep. I command you. Well, it's confusion else. at that point. Oh, you know what? I should probably learn Confusion. Yeah, I have access to it. Confusion has a tendency to work more often for me, probably because it's not a multi-school spell. Because the, uh, the... This is both Hexes and Ice spell. Oh. And Confuse is just Hex. Oh, because the because it's like hibernation. So it's yeah. winter stuff. All right. Now that we've got the confusion spell, things are going to get a lot easier. Because it's very easy to confuse opponents, and when they're confused, they're almost as vulnerable as if they're... as when they're sleeping. Right. It does cost three magic points, though, but... That's not much of a price to pay when you get to higher levels of magic. Of spellcasting. Mm -hmm. And plus it tends to just work more consistently on enemies. Even like really dangerous ones. So you can trivialize a lot of threats that way. That's always a good thing. Ooh, a buckler. 
How bad does this screw up my spell casting? Oh, uh, is there some kind of burden? Uh, yeah, they have an encumbrance rating. Um, though, if you level up your shield's uh, skill, then they won't have penalties, or the penalties will become less severe. Mm -hmm. So eventually, uh, so, like, again, if you were to be a conjurer, uh, you would want to eventually master shield so that you have another means of protection. Mm -hmm. And uh, on top of that, it won't hinder your ability to cast spells. I am now level four. See, this is just as easy as I remember it, too. I think I should maybe progress downstairs faster instead of just trying to kill every enemy in my way. Then again... Oh, death. <laughs> it's so easy to kill them when they're sleeping. Come on, die. Yeah, I'm noticing that you pretty much do just click things and they become they little death. spatters on the floor. They just death instantly. <laughs> Once things start looking bad, yeah, then, and they're starting to look bad. Go to sleep. Uh, oh, do you have some kind of projectile? Yeah, they've been throwing rocks. Yeah, I think he is. Yeah, he's throwing stones at me, all right. And death. <laughs> And I'll take those rocks as compensation. Okay, my character's hungry. I have pl plenty of grapes. And now he's no longer hungry. It took that long to get hungry. Oh, he's got a rune dagger. What does this have? It's not cursed, right? It's not. Okay. And it's a plus draining one dagger health. draining. So this is an improvement. As far as the eye can see. Like, see, look at that bullshit. With a wizard, it would take the Searing Ray spell. And that wouldn't even guaranteeably kill it. But there you go. Fucking just one-hit death. Alright, let's head downstairs. Boop, boop, boop. Ah, oh, he woke up before I had the chance. This is a quiet spell, so if I use it, the rat won't wake up, and then I could kill the rat. Yeah, so you do have to be um, careful about what spells you use. Uh, the hibernation spell is silent, so that's good for when you're dealing with a bunch of sleeping enemies. And to answer your question, Eternal Chaos, uh, yes, I have been hungry. I have been hungry many times. Oh, we got a pack of jackals. What do we do? Well, since I can outspace them, just kill them one at a time, really. Pretty consistently. Wait for him to come to me. Sometimes you gotta do the age-old tactic of bait and switch. Just slowly baiting out the enemy and waiting for them to make... to come to you. In fact, that's a very recommended strategy, usually. Uh, ooh, we got a bunch of enemies here, and many of them are sleeping. So, death and death. Just the Seems like the way to go. Let's just deliver death left and right to this neighborhood. You've got a delivery! Oh, what is it? <laughs> uh, just what I wanted! <laughs> Okay. Is there an end game to yes. this game? Is uh, so there is like a final floor or just like a final series of floors? So there are multiple branching paths. Right now we're in the dungeon area of the game. Eventually you'll come across like the elven mines and shit. Or rather mm -hmm. the orc mines. Um, and those will... 
those will branch to different things and more different things until you finally reach the realm of Zot. And the object of the game is to get the orb of Zot and bring it all the way to the beginning. And once you've done that, you've won. Do the higher floors, like, become repopulated with shit whenever you grab that orb? Or, like... When you grab that orb, um, you are consistently being chased by a shitload of terrifying monsters ready to shit your wreck. Oh. Alright, let's see what this ring does. Protection from fire. Okay, so over here is an orc priest. They are the fucking worst! That is all. <laughs> so are they like Jehovah's Witnesses, or...? What they do is they use their god to smite you with spells that, as far as I'm concerned, deal a shitload of damage and are unavoidable, and they're ranged. Oh, well. These guys are the worst. And look, he's only on Dungeon 4-3! Up, 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 up. And they are knowing you there. Please get confused. You're not getting confused. Okay, so my run might just end. <laughs> yeah, see, this is the horse shit you gotta deal with with them. If I... If I wasn't a Spriggan, I wouldn't even have been able to outrun those guys, and I just would have had to fucking wing it. Wait, my book comes with Dazzling Spray? Holy shit! Oh, and it comes with Enslavement as well. What? What is all that? This makes you do more damage with your uh, blade, I think. Oh, it just increases accuracy. Dazzling Spray, we've used that before as the Conjurer. It's a three-way shot that blinds the enemy. Temporarily. And Enslavement does exactly what you expect. Alright, let's eat some more grapes. Okay. Oh, wait. I'm still hungry. Okay. Ink Potion... Alright, that was a potion of might. Okay, let's see how that works for me. Alright, orc priest. I have enough spell power for one confuse. And of course it didn't work. And well, they fucking him. damaged me by a shitload. And I died. Oh, so much for that. Then again, the Spriggan per The Spriggan Enchanter. Blasted by an orc priest. Yeah. I fucking hate I those assholes. Hmm. I don't know why they decided to put such an awful enemy near the beginning of the game, but... There are times where you can't do anything about them. Maybe the intention is that a, you avoid it rather than actually confronting it? Like, there are some times where no answer is the right answer, and then they'll just kick the shit out of you. That's uh, just the way it is, I guess. Okay. One moment. That's fine. So I'm a troll this time. This is another one of the easy classes to use. Uh, and my I chose my class as a berserker. So that automatically automatically makes you a follower of Trog, who is the god of rage and killing the shit out of everything. He hates spellbooks, so if you come across any, you can use the burn spellbook skill, and it'll make them blow up, damaging nearby enemies. Uh, and on top of that, you also have the berserk skill, which makes you go berserk, raises your stats a shitload, and makes you mow down enemies like butter. It's very Sounds handy. like a good plan. Uh, trolls are very easy to use because essentially all you're doing is berserking and killing shit. And right. as a berserker, 
you're also sacrificing enemies to your god. Now, oh, as you just can see, just for killing them. Uh, come on, just how did how did it turn from red to not red? Uh, it turns red when you've gone berserk. I used the berserk oh. skill. So you just like kick the shit out of things harder when you're berserk. Yeah, your all your all your offensive stats increase except for I think intelligence. Um. And it because I'm worshiping Trog, he actually extends the lifespan of my s berserk. Right. Uh, so long as I keep killing enemies. Sounds like a decent enough trade. So, like, you, you generally want to use it up against a crowd of enemies, because then, like, you'll keep killing enemies and extending your, it's the Berserk's lifespan. Mm. Um, now, there is, there is a downside, and that is that uh, if your Berserk ends, then you become slow and dizzy and shit, and you will generally just... Suck. You will suck for a bit, yeah. Um, okay, so another unique trait of the troll is that they'll eat literally anything, uh, even and they can eat even if they're not hungry. So you will pretty much never worry about hunger, even though trolls are very large and get hungry often. Um, again, it's another re it's another one of the cases of an uh, a class that well a species that has a flaw that doesn't really hinder them all that much. And I believe I can eat this thing. Oh, I can't, because it contains deadly poison. Okay. And let's see. Done exploring. Alright, so let's search for the quickest enemy to kill the shit out of. And just eat him. Oh, hi there, Bat. And he didn't leave a corpse. You killed it too hard. There we go. And I will eat that. Oh, and I'm still hungry. Oh, well, this guy will suffice. Oh, hey, Sif Muna, again to fucking taunt me. Nice to see you. Alright, we got these guys. Sample enough. Uh, well, the only stat that matters is strength, so I'll just increase that. Oh shit, I'm slow and exhausted. I don't know how bad that makes me, but... <laughs> What's hilarious is that eventually most roguelikes... ...degenerate into this kind of thing you see here. Where you're just running from the enemy. Why? I'm good. So let's berserk uh. him. I figured you'd probably be able to kill him just fine without going berserk. Also, you're suddenly starving, so... Yeah, I better eat. Everything. I, and I'm still very hungry. Shit. Okay. Now I am... Yes. Eat. No. Oh, wait, I ate. Yeah. See, I'm constantly hungry. So long as I just keep eating shit, I'll be fine. And now I'm no longer hungry. Hungry again, okay. Very hungry now. Oh, well, I could eat the pizza I just got. And I'm starving, so let's eat this. Yeah, the troll does rely on lo a lot on killing corpses. Uh, and there comes a point in time where um, enemies don't leave corpses very often. I think it's usually like when you fight ghosts or vampires and shit. They won't leave corpses. Right, they just kind of poof into thin air. Yeah, basically. Line up, assholes. And pick it up. And eat all of it. Uh, 
and now I'm very full. See, um, with other classes, you can't eat something if you're not hungry. But with the troll, you can eat any time. Uh, I do think that, uh, unless you're engorged, I think then it becomes a problem and you might actually kill yourself by fucking oh, becoming too fat. <laughs> hmm. Well, let's see. Uh, now I'm engorged. So now what I'm gonna do is any corpses I come across, I'm gonna sacrifice them to my god. Oh, is that separate from cannibalizing them? Yeah. Or rather just devouring them? Yeah. Uh, it pleases my god, and the more I please my god, the more he will give me things and power me up. Up, oh, it's Jessica. Hi there. You're... Who is that? It's a boss character. Random uh -oh. boss character. Let's berserk and just rip you to shreds. Have you successfully? Yeah, I've ki she's very easy to kill. She's one of the uh -oh. easier boss characters. Do you have any idea what she's supposed to do? Or, or is there really no gimmick to boss characters? I think she, she casts spells sometimes, but uh -oh. usually she doesn't live long enough for me to see. Um, usually, if you come across a room with her in it, she will uh, have some kind of spell book that you can steal. Uh, that's in her room. What's in, what's this? But she was just in a hallway. Ooh, ring of teleport control. What's up? Was she just in a hall over there? Yeah, she was just in a hall. Sometimes she wanders, sometimes she's mm. in a room. Oh, yikes, that was a nasty noise. Sometimes she's in a room. If she's in a room, like by herself sleeping, then usually there will be a book nearby you can steal from her. That's kind of cool. It's like a little home. So let's do some Yukari here. Oh, wait. I don't have enough magical capacity. Alright, well, I'll have to keep that in mind in the future. Alright, Dungeon 3 is where shit gets real, usually. This is where we'll start seeing ghosts. Is that just like a, pr a set limit, or is that really just the first place you've actually died? Uh, you, you will never experience ghosts on floor 1 or 2. Oh, uh, okay. As you get... Trolls are able to eat no, when not hungry, and allowing them to reach high levels of not hungry, so just full, very full, and stop eating you, fat fuck. What? That, that was one of the comments on the Twitch chat. Oh, uh, uh, okay. I was like, seriously, did it actually say that? Alright. And you know what? I should probably focus train. Oh, have you just been spread that spread out training? Yeah. I'm spreading my legs out. <laughs> Are you truly very experienced? At spreading my legs out? Yes, sure. Uh, well, let's see. Whoops. I can split them enough so that they're about a little above 90 degrees apart. <laughs> so, 50 percent. All right, then. 50 percent experienced. <laughs> Eternal Chaos made a pun. That was a horrible joke. I do like puns. They're fun. Puns are fun. That's a rhyme that I came up with. <laughs> I sound like evil like a waffle at that point. <laughs> Wait, a dagger? That looks like a special dagger. Rune dagger! What does it do? It's a dagger of poison. Well, since I'm good at unarmed combat, fuck that. 
Oh, really? You've just been punching stuff? Yep. I have claws, so fuck actual weapons. Oop. Pick up that ring and die. Yeah, see, I'm at Dungeon 4 now. And I haven't really been doing much besides just mowing shit down. What did you end up focusing on? I wasn't looking. Uh, I focused on fighting and unarmed combat skill. Oh, so you just want to keep punching better? Yeah. Well, you, like, it doesn't matter what you do. Those things will level up. You can cast a spell and it'll, and it'll say your unarmed fighting skill has leveled up, so long as that's what you chose to level up. Mm-hmm. Alright, let's see. We got four enemies, and there's probably more in the shadows. Berserk time! Strength, because that's all that matters. And there we go. See, I was fighting like a million enemies there, and I just mowed them down with like no effort. Hell, I'm not really even thinking about what I'm doing. Oh, the phantom teleported. I hate these fuckers. Sometimes they will turn invisible. And that's what you gotta watch out for. Do they just lie in wait? Or do they, like, hunt you down? Uh... They come after you. All right, I'm going to use Berserk. All right, and hopefully I will... Uh, he's trying to... I think he's trying to wait me out. I hate... Oh, stop fucking teleporting all the, everywhere. Fucking just die. Ah. Uh, oh, he's right there. Okay. I should, you know what I should be doing? I should be picking up things that I could throw at this ass. And he's dead. Ugh, fucking hate them. I'd better eat. Everything. Ooh, pizza. And I Why is poison. there pizza? Why is there poison pizza? Wait, poison pizza? Where? You got poison. Oh, oh, oh. I got poisoned by this guy's darts. Oh. Not from the pizza. Actually, these darts. Wait, why are, are you hard. finding pizza? Because it's randomly generated. <laughs> Alright then. Ask any further questions and it might just confuse you even more. Oh shit, that was a blow dart of poison. Uh, of uh, curse. Negative thing. So I can't unwield it now. Uh, attacking this guy might be a problem. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's get out of here. Let's use my scrolls to see which one. Oh, that was a scroll of teleportation. This is a scroll of remove curse. Good. I am not going to use that shit anymore. Well, I could use that cutlass, but I could just use my claws. No point, really. What? You've been watching some X Men, sir? No, I just recognized that theme and I felt like singing it. Alright. I haven't watched that in years. I don't even remember if it was good or not. I remember... It, it was there. Oh, Natasha. Okay, she knows magic. This might be a problem. Uh, let's eat some broccoli. 
Going to uh, increase your magic resistance with broccoli. It'll increase my thinking gears. All right, asshole. What exactly is she? It looks like a cat. Yep, it's a cat. Magical cat, once powerful wizard's familiar. She was abandoned after he was consumed by the necromancer's forces he once sought to control. Okay, then. Basically, she's an ass. Thankfully, we can kill asses. Eat the shit out of that cat. Nope, she didn't leave a corpse. Oh, there's another one. Oh, wait, no. I think it said that her soul rise, rose out of her body, but I didn't quite read everything it said. I think she's dead now. <laughs> yep, she screams in pain as she dies. Traga appreciates your killing of a magic user. Oh, yeah. Kill magic users, and he it, that makes him especially happy. Oh, shit, it's a grinder. Uh, okay. Can you berserk again? I'm gonna do something dangerous here. Or are you just gonna berserk right through it? First, Trog's hand. Uh, what did that do? And now berserk. Yeah! Killed him! And I have magic resistance plus two. That's nice. Alright, I am near starving. Let's eat. Now I'm merely exhausted. And I'm hungry again. Jesus Christ. This guy just constantly wants to eat. What dungeon floor are we on? Dungeon floor five, okay. We I'm surprised we haven't come across any ghosts yet. Oh well there's a phantom. <laughs> ah shit. Let's eat. Uh we got two guys on my ass. Kill this snake first because they can poison you and that can become lethal I assume lethal poison is just them telling you anytime poison is gonna kill you yes based on your remaining health yeah Ooh, a church that I have no use for since I already worship a god oh that's a temple filled with altars of should gods you desecrate it uh actually ooh. okay so, if I pick this up... Confusing touch. Oh, these are a bunch... These are hindrance spells. Eternal Chaos says, I got handed to the Troll's Claws. Not just anyone can tear through people like that. So I'm going to experiment a bit here. I'm going to put that book down. I'm going to have him follow me. And now I'm going to set the book on fire. And I killed the cockroach. Yeah! Oh, so you actually can use your book burning fire. Hey, look, it's Ken Sam the fucking asshole ghost. Which one? A million. <laughs> He's extremely dangerous, but whatever. Killed him in two hits. Now I'm level 8. Holy crap, do these guys level up fast or some shit? I kind of want to look up the wiki, but, uh, no. You don't want to spoil yourself, do it? No, no, I love spoiling myself, honestly. Huh? Oh, it won't let me, it won't let me auto-explore because it wants me to calm down first, please. <laughs> no, you don't want to be running around, it's a freaking machine of death. I just think that's hilarious. Like, the game's trying to perform psychology on me. Like, okay, you can explore, but first, calm down. You're not... Nobody's going anywhere without you. We can get through this. Oh, no. Not Kinsan the 572nd. <laughs> 
Eternal Chaos, I, I think you've earned a spot of respect in, in my eyes. <laughs> You're giving me funny comments to bounce off of. <laughs> I just love... I love how I like just said boop and he's just dead. I, like, I didn't even need to think about it. Okay, I have a bunch of money. Uh... C... E... G... H... I could save up for that beneficial mutation. Hmm. But, fuck it. I'm not gonna bother. I just want those potions. Potions of might, potions of heal wounds. No. Well, that doesn't really matter. Considering trolls... Um... Trolls heal very quickly. Yet another asset to their usefulness. As if they didn't have enough. And we're done exploring. Okay. This might actually be a good run. Ooh, wait. Flo rushing water and flowing sand. Okay, there are two optional dungeons in this floor. Let's see if I can find them. I love how you just, like, leave the potion there. Oh. Alright, Trog. Don't let me down. Fuck skeletons! Uh, there's an orc priest. Oh, I am in deep shit. <laughs> Thankfully, I prepared. Maybe just close the door. Uh, I could close the door, but they'll probably stand in the way of me closing the door. Alright, teleportation scroll. Oh, wow. Thanks for teleporting me so far away. Let's try that again. Okay. This is not much better. Yeah, watch out for the shrimp. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to turn away. Wait for myself to get rid of my poison. Hmm. Something hits and shocks me. I might die. Okay. Uh, I'm no longer exhausted, so I can go berserk again. Yeah, just hope for the best. Oh, that thing's invisible. Invisible. Okay. Yeah. Is it dead? Yeah. Okay. Yep, I killed the sky beast. Okay. All right. Now Phew. just kind of chill. Wow, that was a close one. <laughs> You're starving in red, though. Eating this meat will cause rotting. It is caustic, not only in inedible, but also greatly harmful. Alright, put that shit down. <laughs> I was just going to eat it anyway, just uh, just because I wanted to see what would happen. <laughs> is your pizza rotting? You hear the slow rusting of a drain a long way away. No, my... Nothing's... You feel your flesh rotting away. Oh, Looks okay. like you already ate something. I didn't even eat it, but okay, I guess it just decided, yeah, you're shit. <laughs> you're in deep shit. Okay, let's see what this wand does. Wand of random effects. What's that object right there? Oh. Wand of magic Ant. darts. You feel your flesh rotting away. Uh. Uh. Your rot appears to be gone. Oh, yeah, it is gone. Okay. Regen and magical resistance. All right, I want to go back up there because, like, if there were uh, that many you're enemies, getting attacked by a million jackals behind you. Yeah, those aren't a big deal. <laughs> oh, oh. Well, I wasn't expecting you to just punch them to death. All right, come on, surround me. Just... 
<laughs> cut that guy up. And cut this guy up. Oh, oh hey, bye. Hey, buddy. Uh. And you've eaten something bad, I guess, but it doesn't matter. It was a very brief poison. Okay, let's see. How many dudes are still in here? Well, we got a white. He looks dangerous. There were like a million whites. Oh, shit. He's holding things. Oh, wait. He has a trident, so that means he can attack me from two spaces away. Which count... Uh, diagonals count as one space, by the way. So we can attack you from really far away. Yeah. Okay, so let's see what's over here. I get the... F oh, shit. I am poisoned like shit. Do I have a curing potion? Oh, well, that one was. That was a lucky draw. Whoop. Okay. So, the special optional place is not here. I'll, ha I'll go back to that place later. Right now, I'm concerned about... Uh... Oh, shit. Bye. <laughs> what is that green thing? Okay, hold on. Let's heal wounds. Alright, it's time to mow them down. That's an iguana, that's a giant frog, and that's an orchid. Oh, it's a frog frog. Okay, I was looking at it from the wrong angle. Alright, let's sweep them. And hopefully not die. I didn't die. Holy shit, and one of them was an orc priest, too. That just goes to show you how fucking retarded it is. Alright, is this... Can I enter this? Yes, I can! Yes, I made it to one of the optional dungeons. Yes. We are in good shape now. There's probably going to be a ghost here, because I remember there being one last time I went here. Wait, can I eat this? Yeah, I can eat rotten meat. Okay. Wow, that's fucking beneficial as shit. Alright. We got a whole shitload of enemies. Let's do what we do best. Kill. Do 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 Man, why is that song in my head now? The song should always be in your head. What is this? Oh, that's an alarm trap. That'll alarm the enemies to my presence. Uh, wow. <laughs> Alright. Line up, assholes. Jesus Christ. Why the fuck is the troll so overpowered? That is a very good question, but it. it's just going to keep happening. So one is of this, the benefits... Oh, what? Is this the alternate area? Because it looks pretty weird. Yeah, this is the optional area. Line up, pussies. 